BruceDude.com. I get a haircut every single month, and I hate the experience every single time I'm there. Like most guys, I don't go to a barber. I go to a salon because it's fabulous. I look around this place and there's just pictures of these people just smiling with their sweet hair. I hear all these other customers just talking about the same thing. Everybody's like, boy, it's windy outside. I can't believe how cold it got this weekend. And I hate it. I hate talking about the same shit over and over. That's why the next time they're all like, hey, what's up? They're like, well, my dog has cancer. You want to talk about that? I didn't think so, so cut my fucking hair. But I know it's part of their job. You know, I'm sure they don't want to talk to our dumbasses either. Now, for women, it's a completely different experience. They love getting their hair cut. You know, they're all excited, you know, they got the day marked off on their calendar, and they just can't wait. But I don't get it, because 98% of women hate their haircut afterwards. The hairdresser will ask them, Okay, how do you like your hair so far? Oh, it looks really good! What the fuck is this bitch doing to my hair? And then they get home and they're like, WHAT THE FUCK HAPPENED?! For guys it's easier because most of us have been getting the same haircut since the second grade. I used to get a bowl cut, but then one day I was like, Mom, I think I look like a penis. So then I switched over to the haircut that I've had for the past 15 years. Now, there's a bunch of ladies that work at this place, but I usually get the same lady every time. She's this Korean lady, and she does a really good job. She knows what she's doing. It's just that her accent's so thick that I can't understand her at all. I can decipher like one out of every eight words she says to me. She's always like, oh, you know work today? And I'm like, no, I know work today. But that's usually the highlight of my whole trip there. It's just trying to guess what we're talking about. I'll try to relate with her, and I'm like, think of something Korean. I'll be like, hey, where's all your nuclear weapons at, huh? I'm like, well, shit, I guess I could bring up Gangnam Style.